Lisa and welcome to my Small Thoughts channel. Why Small Thoughts? Well, small thoughts can help lead to big thoughts or help us cope with the big thoughts when they come along, and they often do, don't they? So welcome new puzzle buddies, old puzzle buddies, and puzzle observers. Thank you for joining me on my channel. I'm so appreciative of the time you take to spend with me and also for your comments. I've got some really nice comments this week and I want to take a, a tiny bit of time to say thank you. I really appreciate you sharing your stories about puzzles and how they've affected you or touched you or um, affected you in some positive way, gotten you through a rough time or connected you. Most puzzlers know that puzzles connect. So thank you so much for your comments. I really appreciate them and I will do my best to get back to them. You can comment or make give me your ideas in mute on the YouTube section here or on my Instagram smaller thoughts oh boy, smaller underscore thoughts or my website smallthoughts.ca. So thank you once again for stopping by. So enough preamble and maintenance kind of stuff and housekeeping going on and let's get on with the puzzle. So today I'm going to share with you, like I said, what I think is the best autumn or fall puzzle out there. It kind of takes the sting away of the blustery November days that we're having right now that remind us that winter's coming, frost in the air, and snow suits and parkas aren't far behind, far, far behind. So here we go with Harvest Festival by the wonderful Nancy Wernersbach. And you can see we've got lots to look at here. Hang on just a second. I'm just doing a video, but um, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Soon. Soon though. Okay. So we've got the, the Harvest Festival puzzle, 500 pieces from Cobble Hill and the artist Nancy Ornersbach, who does a lovely, lovely, lovely puzzle illustration. She does a lot with Cobble Hill and some with bits and pieces. And I want to say another one. And I will put it down in the links if I think of another brand, but she does these beautiful oils, mostly oils and occasionally watercolor images. And I just love her work. So thank you so, so, so much, uh, Nancy, for your beautiful artwork. And I'll just show you quickly. She does another one that I think is the best spring puzzle. And I did a quick video of that as well earlier. And that's spring cleaning. I love that puzzle. You can see that they're a bit derivative. You've got the, of course, prerequisite dog in here and in here on the porch. Beautiful work. If you want to go say hi to Nancy or follow her on Instagram, I'll again put, try and put the link in the, in the bottom in the description. And if I can figure out how to do it on screen, I will as well. I'm pretty sure it's just at Nancy Werner's Bach. So um, I'll try and put that in the, in the front. So back to the back to Harvest Puzz, uh, Festival. Okay, so we've got this absolutely beautiful festival country market scene in a little town, a little country valley town. And I like to think it's a valley because I can see the beautiful mountain ridges here of an escarpment. It has to, I want to say Ontario or Canada, but I'll tell you why I don't think it is, or maybe you can tell me why later. So I'm looking at this beautiful, beautiful autumn scene and we are just so lucky to be able to live in this world for a minute. So we've got a welcoming covered bridge going over a river or very large stream. It kind of looks like the Grand River to me and in the Grand and over in the covered bridge it's beautifully decorated but also there is all kinds of quilts and different patterns. There's probably about, I would say, a dozen beautifully decorated quilts, some in a pretty little farm scene, uh, sunflowers to sort of, there's sunflowers to be hidden behind, you can't see them here, uh, grid patterns, geometric shapes, which are really good to do when you've got doing a puzzle, textures and shapes and those little tiny um, architectural details uh, make the puzzle a lot more fun to do and, and also the coloring as well. So we've got beautiful quilts, a must have at an artist a harvest festival um uh the dog i don't know about the dog at the festival but he's cute nonetheless very adorable and he's with some uh, little duckling friends looks like a mother duck and her baby ducklings 
who are having a little visit with Mr. Scarecrow, but I don't know how scary he can be. Can he? Not a very scary Scarecrow if he's having a little chitty chat with his little duckling friends. And he's right there on a beautifully, warmly decorated quilt nestled next to a bushel of apples and another bushel of beautiful warm orange pumpkins. Okay, we've got some gourds, an interesting white pumpkin here, and behind, you can't see there, but sunflowers. Oh, I wish you could see it, because right there, right there, oh, let me get to the poster I might have. Oh, I'll grab the poster quick. Right there is, look, <laughs> apple cider, my favorite. I wonder, wonder, wonder if it's honey crisp apple cider, my favorite, and some strawberries and uh, carrots and blueberries all different like berries some beets oh some nice borscht i'll be looking forward to making some borscht this month i can hardly wait i kind of yeah eat the borscht as a vehicle for sour cream and bread but uh, it is really delicious um and we've got um oh one thing i love in a puzzle is when we've got text and signage here so that gives you that's a nice little clue to get going very easy way to start your puzzle nice when you've got the text and graphics so you've got the harvest festival sign handmade quilts local produce and of course homemade jams and jellies hang on I'm a second no i said jams and jellies not not bowl full of jelly jams and jellies yeah we'll get to that okay well hello so we'll, we'll talk to you later okay so the signs like i said wonderful to work with on a puzzle if you see a lot of text then you'll know it's a little bit easier a little bit easier puzzle to do um okay what else we got here so we've got beautiful of course fall foliage gorgeous birch tree again could be canada ontario but it's not i wonder if you'll know why um, a bicycle with a nice basket filled with flowers and also taking a risk here leaving that bicycle that's how we know it's a small rural town and oh, oops a little also we can see that a little put money here so we know for sure that's not toronto well we've got to put money here and pay and leave your money behind this has got to be somewhere in the population of 2000 or less okay so oh we've got a beautiful beautiful cardinal i often see cardinals and puzzles and i love them a lot of people think that cardinals are a message from loved ones that have passed away and that is what i like to believe too that when we see a cardinal it is a message from someone we love okay so we've got the cardinal and look leading over that little bridge leads to some arts and crafts happening in the back. I was hoping we'd have some arts and crafts going over here. We see some lots of people gathering together to look over some things like maybe some candles. I was noticing that they don't have any honey here, so it'd be good to have some honey there. We've got a bunt cake. I could make that out. So some really fun details on this fantastic puzzle. And then off here in the what's that called i'm going to say promenade but it's not the people have all gathered maybe to listen to some music or look at a gourd contest or get together and catch up on the local news okay so we've got this beautiful uh scene and then this little valley town with the, the, maybe some shops and villages and i like to think that's a nice inn where people can come and stop or bed and breakfast probably more likely a bed and breakfast so that is harvest festival absolutely beautiful perfect wonderful perfect fall puzzle puzzle if you can tell me a better puzzle i defy you a better fall autumn puzzle let me know i have to know because this is just it for me it's got everything you could possibly need Okay, so as we're winding down, I just wanted to take a moment to say a little bit more about Cobble Hill and what they're all about and a bit more of their quality if you're not familiar. So Cobble Hill, again, comes in 300, 500, typically 1,000 pieces. A 500-piece puzzle is a great size uh, for someone if you're just starting to get into puzzles. Um, it should take you, I would say, two to five hours to do. And also, what else could I say? Um, 
The Cobble Hill comes with random cut puzzles. Looks like this. Random cut means the puzzle pieces are more interesting, think kind of different funky shapes rather than the typical grid that we normally see. And as I said, always comes with a puzzle. Amazing puzzle, puzzle quality. Great snap. Won't be disappointed with Cobble Hill. I hope you can find it where, where you're from. Um, I see them a lot in North America, but I know some of my UK friends are, are having trouble finding them. So until next time, I just want to show you one more thing before we go. Don't be sad. Until next time, I'm Lisa, and we're saying goodbye to pumpkins. And okay, it's time. We say goodbye to fall and hello, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Look what time it is. Look, it's here. It's finally here. <laughs> it's ready. You gonna eat comfortable? <laughs> Jingle bells? Love them. Okay, so that means it's time to do Christmas puzzles, winter puzzles, uh, cardinals out at the bird feeder type puzzles. I'm looking forward this week to not only starting in my first Christmas puzzle, and I already know what it is, I'm so excited about this puzzle, but also doing some of my Christmas videos. I look forward to doing them for you and looking forward to seeing how you think about them. So until next time, I'm Lisa. We're, right, we're wishing you lots and lots of small thoughts. Bye. <laughs>